welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite face masks. As you guys know, I'm more a skincare junkie more than a makeup junkie because to me it's more important for us to take care of our skin rather than to hide our skin with pile of a lot of makeup because when you pile a lot of makeup your skin is actually getting worse and worse and that's mean you have to pile more makeup so that's a big no-no for me. So yeah, skincare is the number one priority for me. Um, so today I'm partnering with Sephora to find you guys the perfect uh, mask for you and there's uh, this huge trend going on right now, it's called multi-masking. This is what I'm going to teach you guys. So basically how to cocktail your favorite mask because as you guys know, mostly of us has combination skin. Um, even though I'm more on a normal side, I'm always a little bit more oily on the T-zone and a little bit dry on my cheek area. And then there is some a lot of people who actually has more drier on the T-zone and a little bit more oily on the cheek area. So that's why multi-masking is perfect for us who has a combination skin. So for those of you who has a similar skin like me, I think majority of people are pretty normal with oily T-zone. So I picked Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This one is one of the most popular masks as Sephora right now. So what it does is basically detoxing your pores and to remove all this excess sebum to control sebums and control oil on your T-zone area. Um, it's also really good for problem skin with redness, acne, and it does pretty much almost everything. But the only thing is like if you have a sensitive skin, to me when I apply on, I do feel a little bit of tingliness. So you don't want to scrub or exfoliate too hard before you put it on this mask. After I put on that on my T-zone area, I put the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This one is really, really nice. It has a really nice smell, really light, and um, it's really hydrating to your skin. It's also toned at the same time. So when I put it on, my skin feels really supple and beautiful after I rinse it off. And um, this one also pretty popular at Sephora too. So good to try. And then because I have a normal skin, I have to have my husband who has a very oily skin to try on different masks. So I found the one that really good for him um, because he has a bit more uh, larger pores and has more sebum under, on his T-zone. The Sephora Matte Mask is really, really good on his T-zone and I have him to try on the Origins Original Skin Mask, um, the ro Rose Clay Mask, I think that's what you call it. These two combination is really, really good for those of you who has oily skin with the larger pores and has a lot more built up sebums. So this one is deep cleanse your T-zone area. The origins one's a little bit more gentle and moisturizing at the same time and it helps to minimize your pores. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm over 30 right now. So sometimes I do find some wrinkles that um, the early stage wrinkle that I don't wanna see, which is a lot of people, all my friends that are my age, um, has a little bit more fine lines around my smiling area. Sometimes it gets a little bit too deep. See, this is why we need to really, really take care of skin early, on an early stage. Um, so I found this Glam Glow Gravity Mud is really good to tighten everything. And I like to sometimes use this with my 24 gold mask from Peter Thomas Roth. So hard for me to say this one. But this one, it does everything for mature skin, firming, brightening, you know, hydrating, all that at the same time. And the Gravity Matte is actually a peel-off mask. A lot of people like the peel-off mask just because it feels like you have a brand new skin when you take it off and it felt really tight and lifted. So yeah, so this two combination is really good for a mature skin. Mature is for like after, Maybe like 35, 30 to 35, some of us, if you don't take care of your skin early, you're going to start seeing fine lines faster than other people. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to multi-mask. So I'm going to go ahead and apply two of the masks that I choose for my skin. Uh, the T-Zone is going to use the Glam Glow Super Matte and the rest of my face is going to use the Fresh Rose Face Mask. So I'm just going to use my clean finger on my clean face. So I'm going to take just a little bit and apply it on my T-zone area. This has always been my, my problem skin right here on my chin. So this helps to control sebums and to tighten the pores.
So after I apply on my T-zone area, this is help to control oil and the sebum and it also helps to minimize the pores. So the rest of my face, I'm going to apply the fresh rose face mask. I should like to just use a little bit of the product from here. I really like the smell of this one. It smells really fresh and just smells like rose petal. So that's it. That's how you multi-mask your skin, just using two different kinds of masks and targeted in different area. And sometimes if I feel a little bit more luxurious, I use the Peter Roth 24 gold mask on the rest of my face inside, not on the T-zone area, just to get a little bit of lifted because I'm over 30 now, you, you know, it's time to get a little bit more firming and anti-wrinkle mask is very important. And then we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. Uh, depending on the method you're using, you still about 10 to 20 minutes and I'm going to rinse it off and I'll get back to you soon. So after you remove your mask, you're going to apply all your skincare routine and your skin is going to feel beautiful, hydrated, brighter, and tighter. If you can't, don't put any makeup on just for one day. Just let it rest just for one day at least. Your skin is going to thank you and it's going to be more beautiful and beautiful. You're going to love it more and more. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on my next one soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!